Hi everyone, it's Kylie Pertel back again for a Happy Little Stampers video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how I've taken uh, my Perfect Pearls and I've made them into watercolours. So all I've done is I've got these little pots here and I've mixed some water in with a small amount of Perfect Pearls. Uh, this would work with any of your mica based uh, products and this is so we can have a metallic shine to our watercolour and especially for the dark cardstock. So obviously I'm not even using watercolour paper here and you can see that panel on the right um, I was just mucking around with the gold perfect pearls mixed with water and it's made a beautiful metallic watercolour. So um, the tip with this one is, is not to use too much water because you aren't using watercolour paper and you don't want to saturate your cardstock. Uh, that will cause it to buckle and it's not obviously going to hold the water too well. So yeah, it's just um, a really easy way to end a very inexpensive way to create these watercolours and I tell you you may not pick it up on the camera where I'm actually painting these little sample colours uh, that's uh, pearl gold and bronze but once it dries and as you can see from the right hand panel that I had earlier done they are simply beautiful with the with the sparkle that you achieve is just amazing. So I'm just going to show you quickly what I'm um, going to do is emboss my butterfly from the Happy Little Stampers Butterfly Birthday Set. I'm going to emboss it in a white powder. Now you can choose any powder that you like. Um, obviously I probably wouldn't go with black on the black cardstock. But you could go with a white, a gold, a silver, platinum, any colour embossing powder that you like or what you think would coordinate well with whatever colour metallic paints that you can make up out of your own stash. They're the only three that I have, so, um, but the, the sky's the limit if you wanted. Um, geez, I'd have to have a look. I'm sure the perfect pearls come in lots of colours, but... Um, you could really go to town with these and a little bit goes a very long way. Those, the pots that I've made them up into are quite tiny um, and that they, I've, I haven't used much at all. And as you know, there's quite a lot of powder in those little Perfect Pearl pots, so they really do go a long way. So I'm just heat setting my powder. Uh, if you don't usually do embossing, the first thing I did do was use my anti-static uh, powder and this helps uh, keep any flyaway uh, of flyaways of the embossing powder sticking to your cardstock where you don't want it to. And don't ever be scared to use it on the black cardstock because as you can see right now I'm just rubbing it away with a tissue. You can use paper towel, anything you like something dry and it will come off easily. I hope you can't hear my dogs in the background. They've decided to play tug of war of course at 8.30 at night and well dogs will be dogs so they're having fun. I won't interrupt them. Hopefully you just can't hear them. <laughs> okay so I've got my embossed butterfly here and I'm just going to partially colour this one with a bit of the gold. Now as I said you don't, there, there is water in that pot but you just want to sort of pick up more of the, of the paste um, which you create. You just mix it up once you have uh, opened up the pot and I think they would even, to be honest, if you left them long enough they're going to harden. So all you're going to need is a wet brush and you can pick up the paint that way. So that's some of the gold perfect pearls that I've used on the top part of the, the butterfly. And I'm going to use some of the pearl colour down the bottom. And I've even painted straight over the embossed lines. Like you don't even have to go in between too perfectly because the 
embossed lines will act as a resist to the watercolour paint and um, and even if it you find that it detracts from it a bit you can just go over it with a, a cloth and it will come away just exactly like you would be doing with normal watercolours. So another fun thing that I really like about when I use watercolours is creating some extra effects by uh, doing some we all like splats, don't we? Come on, admit it. We all love it. So, of course, the, the, oh, I just love these metallic paints. I can't get over how, where have they been all my life? I know you can buy them in the palettes. I think they are quite expensive. Um, and if you already have your perfect pearls in your stash, what's to stop you from making your own now you don't even have to put them in pots you can make them up as you go along use your craft mat sprinkle a little bit of the perfect pearls onto your mat um, mist it with water and pick it up with your brush seriously too easy I've just got the three colors and I decided I would keep them in the pots for easy access but you can definitely just make it up as you go along and then I thought, let's have a look how they go on the white cardstock. And seriously, it looks brilliant. There's no reason why you can't use it on the white as well. So I was more thinking that I, for the metallics, it would be, because obviously normal watercolours won't work on your dark cardstock. Your colour will just not show. It, it won't hold the pigment of the colour. So... Um, the white cardstock is even more beautiful and as they dry you can see now that panel on the right hand side that I've just shown you those examples are so sparkly it's uh, so so pretty really really love it so basically now I just put together a really really quick card and all I did was uh, emboss the butterflies three times on my cardstock and I've used each of the colours on one of the butterflies as you can see and done some splats of course. You could um, use each colour three times on each butterfly to mix it up. It would look really really pretty. So I will leave you there. I thank you very much for watching today and I hope you give this a go. See you later.